Hello everyone, I am Dr. Manakshi Rana, working in the Department of Physics, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. In this session, I will talk about magnitude comparator. So, let us start the discussion. A comparator is made up of AND, NOR and NOT gates that compares the digital signals at their input terminals and provides an output based on the state of those eight boards. Basically, the comparators compare the binary numbers and decides whether the value of input A is higher than, lower than or equal to the values of input B. The digital comparators achieve this by employing a series of logic gates based on the Boolean algebra principles. Primarily, we have mainly two types of digital comparators. The first one is identity comparator. An identity comparator is a digital comparator which have only one output terminal. Means we will get only one output for A equal to B in this type of comparator. The another type of comparator is magnitude comparator. A magnitude comparator is basically a combinational circuit. We know that a combinational circuit is a circuit in which the output does not depend upon the previous carry. And this type of magnitude compar compar comparators compare the two binary numbers in order to find out whether one binary number is equal to the another binary number or less than or greater than the other binary numbers. In the, in the magnitude comparators, basically we have two inputs and three outputs. The three outputs are A equal to B, A is less than B and A is greater than B. We have different types of magnitude comparators. First, we will see a one bit magnitude comparator. As the name suggested, this one bit magnitude comparators consist of two inputs and three outputs. This type of one bit magnitude comparators is also known as a single bit comparators. And it has two inputs, each of two single bit numbers and three outputs to generate less than equal to and greater than between two binary numbers. This is a two table of one bit comparators. We have two binary inputs A and B. So the possible combination of these two numbers will be four. And we have three outputs A is less than B, A equal to B and A is greater than B. For the first case, when A and B both are 0, means A and B both are 1, so the possible output A equal to B will be 1, and the other outputs A is less than B and A is greater than B will be 0. For the second case, when A is 0, B equal to 1, for this case, B is greater than A, so, this case, this output will be 1 and other output will be 0. For the third case, when A is 1, B is 0. For this case, this A is greater than B is 1 and other cases will be 0. For the third case, when A is 1 and the B is 1, this is the fourth case, for this case, A and B, both are 1, means both are equal. So, for this case, A equal to B output will be 1 and the A is less than B and A is greater than B case will be 0. So, this is the truth table for 1-bit comparator. So, by using this truth table, we will find out the Boolean expression for the three possible Outputs. A is less than B, A equal to B and A is greater than B case. So first we will see the A is greater than B case. Let us see this A is greater than B case. 
For this case, we will see that we will get only one, one for this case. And for this case, we will have A is 1 and B is 0. Means A and B is 0 means B bar. So, we can write A is greater than B. The Boolean expression for A is greater than B as A B bar. For A is less than B, Boolean expression will be, we will get 1 here. So, the Boolean expression will be A bar, A is 0 here and B is 1. So, we can write it A bar B. For the third case, A equal to B, we will get 2 times 1, this one and this one. So, we will have A, B, both are 0 for this case and A and B, both are 1 for this case. So, we can write it here, A bar, B bar plus A, B. So, the Boolean expression for A equal to B will be A bar, B bar plus A, B. So, we can see that this is the Boolean expression for A is greater than B. This is the A is less than B and this is for A is equal to B. So, from this you can say that this is two inputs A and B and the B is not or bar. This is A is not and B and this is for B, A equal to B case is for we will use X not gate for finding out this Boolean expression. So, we can make the one bit magnitude comparator using AND gate, XOR gate and NOT gate. So, we have two inputs A and B. We have already seen that for A equal to B, we will use XOR gate. The output of XOR gate will give us the A equal to B output. So, this is the x naught k and this will give us a equal to b and for a is greater than b we can see that the a inputs attached to an and k and this b and this is the naught k so we will get the b bar from here and the input is a b bar and this is the and k so we will get the output a b bar. So, this A B bar will give the A greater than B case. This X naught gate output A B plus A bar B bar will give this A equal to B case. And for this A is less than B, we will get that this is A input, this is not gate. So, the output will be A bar and this is inserted in this AND gate. So, this is A bar. And this one is the B input. So, from A bar B, we will get this A is less than B. So, by using the circuit, we can compare our uh, one bits and we will get uh, whether these two bits are equal or greater than the another bit or less than the another bit. Now, we will see the 2-bit magnitude comparators. In this 2-bit magnitude comparator, basically we compare two binary numbers. Each of 2 bits is called a 2-bit magnitude comparator. It consists of 4 inputs and 3 outputs to generate less than, equal to and greater than between these 2 binary numbers. So, in this case of 2-bit magnitude, comparators we have four inputs and the output will be same as one bit comparator means it has three inputs the first input will be a the uh, a is less than b the second will be a equal to b and the third will be a is greater than b this is the two bit magnitude comparator truth table as i have already told you this is 2-bit magnitude comparator means it has 4 inputs A1, A0, B1, B2 are the 4 inputs and we have again 3 outputs A is less than B, A equal to B and A is greater than B case. 
as we have four inputs so, so the possible combinations will be 16 so we will check one by one all the conditions and write down the outputs for making the truth table so first case is 0 0 0 0 means all the inputs are 0 for this case a to b will be 1 and other will be 0 for the next case we have a 0 0 0 1 means b not is 0 b not is 1 other are 0 so for this case we will see that b will be the greater than a so we will write 1 here and other will be 0 similarly we will see that for the third case that 0 0 1 0 case again this b will be greater than a inputs so we will write 1 here and other will be 0 for the fourth case we will see that 0 0 1 1 again b is greater than b bits are greater than a bits so we will write 1 and 0 0 here then we will come to the fifth case we will write here 0 1 0 0 and for this case we will see that the b are 0 and a are 1 so for this case we will see that we will get a is greater than 1 and other combination will be 0 then for the next case we will see that 0 1 0 1 for this case you can see that both a and b inputs are same so we'll write 0 and for a equal to b we will write 1 and this case is again 0 so similarly we will write all the possible uh, inputs and corresponding outputs will be written here and you'll find this type of truth table for two bit magnitude comparator so for solving this output, we will check the Karnoff map. So, Karnoff map is basically used to solve the logic expression or to simplify the logic expression. So, by using the truth table, we will make the Karnoff map for three outputs. First, we will see that A is greater than B expression. Karnoff map this is the Karnoff map for A greater than B expression. This is the Karnoff map for A equal to B expression. This is the Karnoff map for A is less than B expression. So we will write the one once for the outputs given for A is greater than B in Karnoff map. For this case and for the A is less than B case. So we will make the possible combinations here. This is the first combination. Again for this brown line is the combination and this is the combination. Then we'll, uh, in this case uh, the all the ones are in the diagonal side. So we cannot make a possible combination or we cannot make a pair. So we will write them separately. These are the so we make them circle. And for this A is less than B expression. Again we will make a Karnoff map pairing. This is the pairing, this 4 will pair, this 2 will pair and these 2 are the folded pairs. So for solving this, we will write the Boolean Karnoff map logic expression for the each output. So first A is greater than B will be, write, will be written this time. This uh, uh, dash is shown as the bar or complement. For A equal to B, this is the output. And for A is less than B, this will be the output. So by using this logic expression, we will uh, make a 2-bit magnitude comparator. And this is the logic expressions for uh, this 2-bit magnitude comparator. And you can see that these are the A1, B1 bar. This is the uh, output of an AND gate where we will... Uh, write the a1 input and this b1 complement and then plus sign for the or gate then again this and gate then plus or gate then we'll write the and gate so by using these type of uh, circuits we can make a two bit magnitude comparator 
now we'll see uh, the application of comparators there are a number of application of these type of magnitude comparator and uh, the sum of the mentions below as these type of magnitude comparators are used in uh, central processing units and microcontrollers uh, these comparators are also used in biometric applications and in password verification and uh, they are mainly used in control applications in which the binary numbers representing physical variables such as temperature, position, etc. and are compared with the reference values and these comparators are also used in controllers and for servo motor controllers.